Mic check. That's how it's gonna be around here. Like I say, whatever I do, I'm gonna do in the light of day. I ain't gonna do nothing in the in the nighttime like a thief in the night. Y'all got signs up there which makes it easy for me to do what I do. Potty training politicians and people gonna pay attention to this. All right. Shorty's bootleg barbecue. Y'all got the county executive's spot that's open, right? So whoever wins the county executive office got to deal with my shit. They got to deal with me. Because I had papers in Caminette's office to be addressed. And they had to deal with my store, the money, the, and everything else. So like I said, I'm asking for a federal audit and a federal investigation to the Baltimore County government. The office of the county executive the county council and I want to show the corruption that goes on in the courts and how it's protected that's shorty's pit beef on Falls Road that's my that sign for my store I took that when I went out of town in 2007 I took that down and that was mine I never gave up ownership of my property and the sheriff can't show me no eviction notice or a change of property Now you an insurance man. If I have a contract with Insurance Incorporated and I got sole proprietorship, they can't engage in any activities with my name that's involved in it or change any policies or what nature of that nature. Well, Insurance Incorporated did that. Insurance Incorporated, Bank of America, Sun Trust Bank, and the Controller's Office participated in a fraud. They stole my business. They did contracts and, and, part, and told my son about my business, which they had no right to engage in a conversation with my son while I was locked up in the state of Illinois. Court papers show I was locked up in another state. I was locked up for 186 days from December, from Christmas Eve till June 3rd, 2008. And Insurance Incorporated shouldn't have spoke to my son. Bank of America shouldn't have spoke to my son. Paul Weinblatt shouldn't have spoke to my son and I never signed nothing to turn my I was selling my store my store was for sale and Zirkin know about it because I was making a movie about Zirkin and the Democratic Party in Maryland not my store my store was a store and it was also a film studio about race and racism and Jim Crow it was about insurance it was about health care it was about gay marriage it was about a lot of things and I was doing it in my store. Sheriff Fisher came to my store. He had a sign at my store during the 2002 elections. 2004. Shorty's boat, Bootleg Barbecue. So the county executive got legal papers about my position. The state's stealing money. Y'all got to compensate me for my losses. Unless and until I'm compensated, I'm going to keep telling about your corruption in your courts. Judge Janae fixed the case for me. I didn't ask her to do it. She did it on her own. Judge Janae lived right across the street from my store. David Irwin lives right up the street from my store. And David Irwin got a law office down the street. And he got one at the World Trade Center. Fran Cotton and me talked in the elevator with his security guard. And y'all been letting this linger for the last eight, ten years. All right? You got taxes that wouldn't paid on that store while I was locked up and you got checks that was cashed and parties that was made while I was locked up. I pressed criminal charges against my son and my landlord and the state refused to take them. But the state tried to charge me with trespass and theft. They charged me with five felonies and they tried to charge me with the death and the murder of Scott. Um, what was his name? The guy that on... Uh, mm, they charged me with another murder, too, in August of 2009 because I was trying to get my property back. Schellenberger needs to be disbarred, and I'm going to make sure that my story is told. You all going to lock me up because I'm going to start putting more toilets out. And on those toilets, I'm going to have your information. I'm going to have your story. Everything that I need is going to be on them toilets. For real. Same toilet that I put in Towson, I'm going to put everywhere because it's election year. And the voters need to know what they're voting for in, in Baltimore County. They need to know the racism that exists in your courts. You feel me? And your police department. Y'all got a problem with me? Dog. Lock me up.
charge me with something. Because when you lock me up, I get a jury trial. I get a jury trial because I'm not going to take a trial by judge. I'm going to take a trial by jury. And everything that I gave Bobby Zirkin is going to be on the bench. You feel me? Everything that Bobby Zirkin got, everything that Kathleen Pugh got, everything that Governor Hogan got, everything Judge Souter got, everything Judge Pearson got, everything Judge Holland got, y'all going to have to put it in front of the court because I ain't scared of jail. If I can go to jail for toilets, y'all can go to jail for corruption. Man wasn't built for jail. Jail was built for man, and you can go to jail too. And that's not impossible. Because like I said, if I did something wrong, lock me up. But unless I get my $2.6 million, and my standing in the community, and you rectify that lie, I'm going to keep shitting on you. Potty training politicians. The world paying attention.